Hello everyone, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. I haven't been making a whole lot of new videos recently because, uh, well, I've been busy with work, but in my spare time, I've actually been playing Rust. God forbid I actually play the game sometime. I've been trying out a couple new servers just to see what everybody's up to these days. But I do have a user request from YouTube from the RCVIE. RCV. Uh, RCV, just call you RC, asks, How is the best way to connect the no ammo output to stop auto doors opening and attach to a light? Uh, I'm going to presume here, RC, that what you're going for is a way to use a light to alert you to the fact that you have no ammo and to close the doors when you're out of ammo. So let me uh, switch over real quick here to Restrician and show you a quick diagram of how this is working out. So uh, power coming in is kind of irrelevant, but we got a turret that's powered. Uh, we've got an AND switch that I'm running some power to, uh, far more than it needs, and a blocker here. And let me show you how we're going to use these. So uh, powering the turret should be self-explanatory. You need at least 11 units coming in, so you have one left over for this uh, no ammo output. We have a bunch of power coming into the AND switch. How much you'll need will vary, but enough to power everything downstream. In this case, there's a lot coming in. And then what happens here is when this, uh, or sorry, in normal conditions, the power going to the doors is just going straight through the blocker because there's nothing blocking it. So you can see door controllers on, doors are open. Uh, if you have auto doors, that's fine. Uh, you can put your logic for the doors upstream or downstream of this. One thing you do need to make sure, though, is that the blocker will cut power to the door controllers. So um, if all your door controllers split off after your logic, then it's fine going here. If it splits off before the logic, then you need to put it upstream so that you're cutting all the power to the doors when you uh, activate this blocker. The no ammo output hits this side of the AND switch, causes the power, the main power to go through into this branch, and then we just need enough power to activate the blocker, which the default to here is fine, and then you need one unit of power coming out to turn this light on. So no ammo means AND switch becomes true, branch becomes powered, blocker becomes powered, which cuts off the power to the doors, cutting power to door controllers closes doors, and it also powers on the light. So that's the, the diagram of the concept. Switch back and I'll show you in game what this looks like. Um, very similar components here. I'm not using a splitter, I'm using a branch over here to send some power up uh, to this branch. We got a little bit of power then uh, going up into the AND switch for the light. And then off of that branch, the power coming back to the blocker. You can see the door is powered right now, so it's open. And one side of the end switch is powered, but not the other side because there's no trigger from the no ammo. So uh, let me put some ammo in this sucker here. Just going to put a little bit in. Uh, I don't know how many of this is going to take to kill. I'm going to spawn a scientist. I'll just put 11 in here. And then I got to hook up the power. So power up this turret here real quick. And it's pointing this way, so I'm going to spawn a scientist. Where is he? No scientist. On scientist. There we go. Okay, now we ran out of uh, ammo. Running out of ammo means door closed and light came on because it activated the other half of the AND switch. So that's how that works. I didn't even see this scientist spawn. Where is he? Must be underwater. <laughs> That's awesome. But there you go. As soon as the no ammo output activates, activates the AND switch, closes, cuts power to the doors, and activates the light. You might want to consider something other than a light, or keep the light in your base where it's not near any exterior walls. You wouldn't want it uh, clipping through and having a light kind of cluing your enemies into the fact that you have no ammo. Uh, a transmitter might be a good idea so that you can page yourself and uh, your pager going off would tell you that uh, you're out of ammo. That could be helpful. 
Uh, and on Restrician, if you want to simulate this, you just turn off the turret. You'll see now light is powered, door is not, and oops, we gotta switch over. If you uh, the on and off in Restrician is what tells it whether the uh, turret has uh, power or is activated or not. So if I deactivate it, uh, one of the options is to have it send to the no ammo. So there you go. Powers up the and switch, powers up the branch, powers up the light, powers the block input, which cuts the power to the doors. So there you go. RC, I hope that answers your question. And for everyone else, good luck. And don't suck. Thank you.